So now that you guys might have a little bit of a better of an understanding exactly what THCA hemp flower is, I'm going to let you in on some of the uh, methods that I've heard and learned about on how exactly they are able to keep these strains compliant. There's a lot of older strains, things like a green crack and blueberry that I'm seeing that just automatically have the genetics in it already to have high THCA and not really naturally convert any more than 0.3% delta 9 THC. Now, other things that they're doing are taking well-known uh, straight marijuana or recreational cannabis strains, and they are harvesting them a little bit early. Or another thing that they are doing is sending in uh, test samples of their product up to 30 days before harvest because the farm bill allows you to send a sample um, in up to 30 days before harvest, and as long as it's federally compliant within the sending of that test date, I believe anything after that is essentially a fair game because the uh, overseeing agency for hemp, the USDA, has proof that you were at one point within the federally legal compliancy. So what they will do is they will have strains that they'll harvest early or genetics that just uh, have that sort of a growth with the uh, THCA and Delta 9 THC conversion within federal compliancy and they are able to sell it in the mail as hemp flour, and a lot of times market it under CBD to kind of stay low under the radar as uh, they are flying with this uh, THCA loophole that essentially just federally legalized wheat. So check out my page for uh, reviews on products from a lot of these hemp websites where you can just straight up find some dank for a uh, little cost comparable to the dispensary and it comes to your door absolutely no problem and a lot of it is insured so check out the page for a lot of good reviews and more to come